Just how complex is a single cell? Find out next on today's Creation Moment. And now, here's our Creation Moment host, Ian Taylor. It wasn't until 1839 that cell theory was first described by Theodor Schwann in basically its modern form. By 1858, researcher Rudolf Virchow had learned enough about the cell to conclude that every cell must come from a pre-existing cell. But Charles Darwin wasn't paying attention. The very next year he published his book On the Origin of Species in which he theorized that the first cell was formed from non-living matter. In Darwin's day the cell was thought to be just a simple sac filled with gelid carbon. This concept is the origin of the term protoplasm. However, nearly 150 years of cell research has shown us that even protozoans and fungi cells are hugely complex. Many thousands of different operations are taking place continuously within each of the cell's many parts, called organelles. The cell cannot live until all these parts are working properly. Even the simple E. coli bacterium has 4,000 genes. If we were able to magnify the DNA of the E. coli to the thickness of a clothesline, it would be five miles long. There is no such thing as a simple cell. The fact that a cell cannot live without all these thousands of parts shows that the cells were created in their finished form just as the Bible says. Even bacteria declare the glory of our Creator. For more information, visit us online at creationmoments.com. You'll find both written and audio transcripts, creation-focused articles and Bible studies, and many other resources, all at creationmoments.com. And join us again for another Creation Moment, proclaiming evidence of God's truth.